And this is Boston After Dark, and we approve this video. There you go, okay. <laughs> and we're going to play Carpool Trivia. Now, Cash Cab is dead. Okay. No one takes taxes. Yeah, no one, no one does that anymore. Carpool Trivia is Cash Cab for your generation, ladies. Okay. And you guys are gonna be on, and you have the opportunity where with a few correct answers and a little bit of luck, you guys could become millionaires. You want to become millionaires? We need to become millionaires. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're going to play Riddle Me This. It's time to play Riddle Me This on Carpool Trivia. And yes, that is me. I love it. Riddle okay. Me This. Can you name three consecutive days without using the words Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Think it through. Three consecutive days without using any days of the week. Three consecutive days. The first, second, and third. No, but what was what was a day a day ago? Yesterday, today, nope. and tomorrow. There you go. All right. You see how easy that is? I like that one. There you go. Of course, we got more eyes that just want to cut in front and pull out. That dude's so okay. Yeah. You know what? I got good insurance. Back off. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Deja vu. Oh, we did that. <laughs> Riddle me this. Well, you get the answer. David's father has three sons. Okay. Snap, Crackle, and who? David. Very good. Most people say pop. <laughs> Look at that. You see, you're real good at this. You got two already. You only need five to get to a prize. Okay, I like the prizes. David. We got it. There you go. <laughs> I Riddle gotta give the answer for the camera. Of all the rooms in the house, what is the one room ghost avoid? The living room. Wow, she is good. <laughs> yeah, she's rocking over there. She's got some fire. All right, you got, I got three. It. I got it. The living room. There she is. There she nope. While she well, wrote. <laughs> belongs to you but is used by other people much more think it through it's yours but you rarely use it other people use it more than you just guess it throw it out there what do you think it is we don't take away for all words and unlike cash cab I do not kick you out for wrong answers don't know, throw it out, we can move on to the next one, it's okay. My body? Like, <laughs> Your body? Well, you know, I guess technically that is right. Well, technically. We technically, but um, yeah, okay. <laughs> next. And what was that one? Your name. Uh, okay, that was a tough one. Riddle me this. Okay. What has many keys but can't open a single door? Very good, look at that, you got four. Piano. I'll take all my prizes. <laughs> Riddle me this. You live in a one-story house made entirely of red wood. What color would the stairs be? It's a one-story house, no stairs. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, aren't, aren't all riddles trick questions? <laughs> there are no stairs. You live in a one-story house. This is so fun. I love it. Riddle me this. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson have six sons. Each son has one sister. How many people live in Mr. Johnson's house? It would be six sons and one sister and then two parents. Two parents. So six, one is seven, eight, nine. Yeah. There you go. Nine. nine. It's like five or six you guys got. There we go. Riddle me this. A man rode into town on Sunday. He stayed the whole night and rode out of town on Sunday. Okay. How is this possible? His horse's name was Sunday. There you go. That's Bye. right. They say you guys had seven. The horse's name was Sunday. Riddle me this. A plane crashes between Mexico and the United States and everyone dies. Where do you bury the survivors? Well, everyone and, don't say, and don't say on the Trump's wall. <laughs> Did it say die or survive? 
Yes, and everyone dies. Where do you bury the survivors? Well, either, either everyone's dead or you yeah, don't bury survivors. No survivors. Yeah. That's it. We'll give you eight. <laughs> you see, you embarrassed him. I'm sorry. That's right. You got Tell me this. John goes out for a walk when it starts to rain. He doesn't have a hat or an umbrella. His clothes are soaking wet. Yet not a hair on his head is wet. How is this possible? He's bald. You guys are so good. So good. Like the song, so good, so good. Oh, 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 oh. Because John's bald. Poor John. <laughs> Riddle me this. Two fathers and two sons were fishing one day. They caught three fish and they each got one. How is this possible? Caught three fish and they each got one. How? That works. One of the fathers is also a son. So it's basically two fathers, one of them is also the grandfather. There you go. Yeah, we got it. You got it. Because one of the fathers was also a son. There we go. Riddle me this. I'm white when I'm dirty. And I'm black when I'm clean. What am I? And contrary to the popular belief, as bad as that sound, it wasn't meant to be dirty. <laughs> I'm black when I'm dirty, I'm black white when I'm clean. Dirty, white when I'm clean. Yeah. Wait, I missed, mixed that up. So you're white when you're dirty, black when you're clean? I think it works either way. March of the Penguins. We'll give you the answer on yeah, that one. That one's a tough one. A blackboard. Yeah. Riddle me this. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain on Earth? Mount Everest. Exactly. It was still the highest mountain because once it was discovered, my voice is like completely gone. Yeah, that's okay. Duh, Mount Everest. Duh. That's still a duh in there. Duh. Riddle me this. A bus driver is heading down a street. He goes right past the stop sign without stopping. He turns left on a no turn left and goes up a one way. He crosses over the middle of the street, passes right by a cop. Yet he broke no traffic laws. How? It's a school bus. <laughs> no, they, 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 still, they still have to follow the laws. Um, you pass right by a... Went right by the cop, did a whole bunch of stuff. You know, made left turns where he shouldn't. When he was going right by the cops, he was going the right way by the cop. The answer to that one is... Bounce it out. The bus driver was walking. Oh! oh. Okay. <laughs> it's time to play! Right. So you guys got the top prize on that one. Oh, yay! So, alright, so that is the few correct answers. Okay. Now comes the point where the little bit of luck is needed. Uh-oh, I'm nervous. What you're going to get is you're going to get an opportunity to win up to one million dollars on a gold rush scratch ticket. Whatever you get on this ticket is 100% yours to keep. Okay? So what I'm gonna ask you to do is if you wanna scratch off the winning numbers and then your numbers and read them out as you scratch them because my audience really, really wants to see you guys win a lot of money. So far, the most I've had a writer win is $100 so far. So I'm waiting for someone to win big money. And while they do that, you guys at home, hit subscribe, hit like. Wait, don't forget to hit subscribe and like. Yes. There you go. <laughs> what do you want to subscribe? So you got to subscribe. Yeah, you got to subscribe. Yeah. So we got to do. Subscribe. The winning numbers and then your numbers. Or your numbers, whichever is the smallest. I like to do the winning. Okay. Call each one out though so people know what number okay. we're looking for. So, Alright, so we're looking at no, 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 the yeah. the winning numbers. Oh, so. winning numbers. So the winning numbers we're looking for are one, one, nine. Alright, this is like really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Okay, it's good numbers. And twenty-three. Three. Twenty-three, alright. Alright, so we've gotten so far. Fifteen, twelve, fifteen. Wait, didn't you say 15 was a winner? No. Oh, okay. Oh, 11. We got three. Come on, let's give this days a winner. Eight. Four. Come on.
come on, don't let me down now. Market basket lotto agent. Wait, 25 one of yours? No, 23. Uh oh, it's not looking too good yet. Come on, we got a couple shots here. Sorry, but here's the thing. Nobody leaves Boston after dark empty-handed. Oh, I love to hear So that. what you're going to get is you're going to get your very own half-used bottle of hand sanitizer. Yay. Look at her face. She's looking at me like, seriously? <laughs> no, not seriously. All right, since you guys are both over 21, what you are actually going to get is you're going to get your very own bottle of Boston after dark liquor, okay, which you cannot drink in the car, otherwise I can't put the video out. Okay. I've had people do that, and I've had to like edit it up the video yeah, the but yes but you guys each get your own bottle yeah. and you should keep it because at some point when i become famous and I have my yeah, own hbo no, show exactly and you'll have you'll be on a video so, oh, so cute. what i'm gonna ask you guys to do is if you want to say goodbye to youtube nation actually you know before we do that let's talk about abba let's i love about abba. abba we love abba abba was amazing dancing queen is my all-time favorite dancing queen's time. our favorite we love mama mia we love fernando oh fernando Chickadita, tell me what's wrong. Yes, we love that. We love have you ever listened? Which one? Have you ever listened to Chiquitita in Spanish? No. no. Can you sing oh. it for us? I don't want to sing it. Sound like Chiquitita, tell me Okay. It is. My voice is gone, as you can tell. Really yeah, but listen right. to it when you go home. Listen to it in Spanish. Okay. It's sweet in English. Mm -hmm. In Spanish. Better. Better. Yeah. The I first time I heard that song. I was in a little club in Astoria, Queens called Ritmo 70, which means like Rhythm 60. Yeah. Okay. And um, the song came on, and when the piano thing came on, literally the hair on my arm stood up. Really? But here's what I gotta ask you guys. Because okay. you guys are young, you're in your 20s. How'd you come to like ABBA? Um, we love Mamma Mia. I danced for Big 13 years. Really? And The glow necklace actually works absolutely yeah, perfect so as a headband. Like it has the, the it's fitting. Headband. Absolutely. <laughs> well, if you guys want to say goodbye to YouTube Nation. Bye okay. YouTube Nation. Bye YouTube. Like and subscribe. Ladies, give my give my audience a kiss, will ya? There you go. <laughs>